Ambiorix leads Gaul in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Far more than just a king of the north, Ambiorix was known as the king in all directions. He ruled the Obiruan tribe in what is now Belgium. Gaul's powerful, unique ability is called Eilstadt culture. It allows mines to provide a minor adjacency bonus for all districts, culture bomb unknown territory, and grant additional culture. The downside to this power is that specialty districts cannot be built next to the city center and do not receive adjacency bonuses from other districts. Gaul's unique unit is called the Gezete. It replaces the warrior and receives additional combat strength when fighting stronger units and district defenses, but is more expensive to train. Gaul's unique district is called the Opidum. It's not only cheaper and available earlier than the industrial zone, but also unlocks the apprenticeship technology when constructed. Highly defensible, it offers its own ranged attack and receives a major adjacency bonus from quarries and strategic resources. Ambiorix's ability is called King of the Elbirwans. It grants Gaul additional culture based on unit cost when a non-civilian unit is trained. It also gives melee, anti-cavalry, and ranged units bonus combat strength for every adjacent combat unit. Gaul's focus is on a defensive, culture and production-centered game. Prioritize border expansion early so you have room to build districts far from the city center. Claim as many mines as possible to fuel this expansion with Gaul's culture bombing ability. Place the Opidum to guard valuable resources in your sprawling city. Also, consider rushing military tradition for flanking bonuses, which can combine with Gaul's horde-based combat buffs to forge a truly formidable army. Will you undermine your enemies to reign in all directions? How will you lead Gaul in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?